In November of 2009, a video camera was dropped down well TW1. In the middle is the depth in feet beneath the ground surface. And then at 329 feet beneath the ground surface, this is the level of water in the well. That's the level to which water rises in the well. It's called the water table. We're continuing going down. And then found beneath sands and gravels is this material. It's a rock, and as you go down, you can see there are pits in the side of it. This is the limestone that has been dissolved. Here on the side, you can start to see cavities. Uh, you can think of them as many caves or conduits, as close as you're going to get to a pipe in the subsurface. This is a very large one, and this can deliver a tremendous amount of water to the borehole. This is one of the reasons when they pumped this well, they didn't even observe the water level to drop. Water can come in faster than they could possibly pump it. And we've encountered numerous features that would contribute greatly to permeability. In fact, if you just hit one of these features in a well, you've got a humdinger of a well. And, and finally, at 1,000 feet, there is still water. This is a unique aquifer system. Of course, every aquifer system is unique in its own way, but this is just tremendously productive. Uh, based on 43 years of experience, I've been involved in literally hundreds, possibly thousands of drilling uh, projects, which included drilling, constructing, testing, developing water wells. And without a doubt, TW1 is most prolific uh, production well that I've ever been involved with.